Say someone weighs in on Facebook or Twitter about something you've written or broadcast. Your instinct is to step in and defend yourself as a matter of professional pride. And certainly the journalists we spoke to said if the accuracy of your story is being called into question, you have a right to respond if you so choose. But their advice is to make sure you remain purely factual. Maybe respond once or twice and then leave it. Don't get involved in a long exchange or expect to have the last word, as you can never win a Twitter spat. But as we know, the attacks won't always be about your work. It can and almost certainly will get personal. So it's important to recognise whether someone's criticising your work on journalistic grounds or just making a personal attack. If it's the latter, just block, mute and ignore. These tools are there to be used and the advice is to use them liberally. Remember, you don't have to put up with this. Progress is being made. Certainly employers are stepping up to try to protect and support their journalists and some action is being taken in terms of the social media platforms and online harms legislation. So it's really important that you document any threats or abuse, making a note of all the details and taking screenshots. And use the processes that are in place at your workplace to report any abuse. Editors should support you in approaching the police if necessary.